Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about a few settings in Windows 11 that you need to change in 2025. So in this video, we're going to cover how to change a few settings in order to disable telemetry, how to change settings that will disable ads and notifications in Windows, and other small settings that should improve the overall Windows 11 experience altogether. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First First of all, we're going to talk about telemetry and that is basically the info that your computer or you as a user sent to Microsoft. Microsoft uses that information to send you, of course, personalized offers, personalized ads and even updates. So of course, we're going to use the settings app a lot in this video. So we're going to open up the settings app. First of all, we're going to go to privacy and security and then below to diagnostics and feedback. And from here, if you want to start to disable telemetry, you need to disable send optional diagnostic data and if you disable this you'll see that you will no longer get Windows Insider builds so if you want to get Windows Insider builds you will need this option. What you'll notice is that when you disable that also from improve inking and typing that will be also automatically disabled. Moving on to tailored experiences make sure you have this disabled. Let Microsoft use your diagnostic data excluding info about websites your browsers, etc. Also view diagnostic data and you can also delete all the diagnostic data that you have sent already. But as you can see whenever you are disabling the option to send options diagnostic data almost all the options are automatically disabled as well so that is good you can also go to privacy and security and then go to speech and make sure you have online speech recognition turned off and also again in privacy and security go to activity history and you can disable store my activity history on this device basically you will be able to later use this info to sync other computers whenever you reinstall Windows but even though it is not clear if Microsoft uses this info or not you can disable it if you don't want to have anything to do with the telemetry on Windows 11. And there is also another option in privacy and security, which is find my device. You can also turn this off if you don't want Microsoft to track your device location. Now let's move on to some ads and notifications. Going again to privacy and security, we're going to general and here you're going to notice that we have a bunch of things that Microsoft is shoving inside Windows 11 and things that we can turn off. For example, let websites show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Let Windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches. Show me suggested content in the settings app and show me notifications in the settings app. You can turn all of these off. Now let's move on to system in the left side and then go to notifications. And from here, you can expand notifications. You can disable certain settings from here. For example, show reminders and incoming VOIP calls on the lock screen. And also down below, you can personalize which apps and senders can send notifications. Of course, on this machine, I have a few apps, but for example, you don't want to receive notifications from OneDrive. You can disable that. And you also have have additional settings and you can turn these off show the windows welcome experience after updates also get tips and suggestions when using windows let's close out the settings app now and then go to the start menu and then right click on the start menu and then start settings and from here you're also going to notice that we have a bunch of things that we need to disable or change so for example we're going to disable show recommendations for tips shortcuts new apps and more and also show account related notifications occasionally in start if you have multiple apps installed you may see other options as well so you can turn them off if you want. And another thing that we can do from the personalization tab where we've customized the start menu is to go to device usage at the bottom and make sure you don't have anything selected here because as you can see here, you can select all the ways you plan to use your device to get personalized tips, ads, and recommendations within Microsoft experiences. Basically, these are all the options that you see whenever you install Windows 11. So if you somehow selected certain things that you were going to do with your computer, let's say development, gaming, creativity, entertainment, and so on, you would have these options enabled. So disable each and every one of them because you're just going to get multiple tips, ads, and recommendations that you may not want inside your Windows 11 operating system. In addition to these settings, of course, you may want to disable the widgets board that would automatically open up on hover on the taskbar because let's be honest, not a lot of people use it. So just right click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then disable widgets from here if you don't want them in your taskbar. Finally, one last setting that I want to show you is a setting that I think most of you should know already, but if you don't, just type in the search box power and then click on choose a power plan and from here make sure you select the high performance plan this won't be automatically selected whenever you install windows the balance plan will be automatically selected but the high performance plan will favor performance even though you may use a lot more energy but i'm assuming that you're using a computer and if you're using a laptop it is of course not recommended to use it on battery if you want performance and you can also go to change plan settings and make sure you select turn off the display to never if you don't want your display to be automatically turned off so in my opinion 
in, these are some settings that you need to change in Windows 11 in 2025. If you didn't change them already, these are some settings that will disable ads, telemetry, and more, and should improve the overall Windows 11 experience. For more in-depth tips and tricks, you can also check out the article below in the video description if you're interested. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man your home, TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.